Last week I showed you how to take the Xiaomi Poco M3 and return back to stock MIUI firmware. This will uninstall and remove all mods such as Majisk and even TWRP to get your phone back running 100% stock Xiaomi firmware. So that lines up perfectly with today's tutorial, which I'm going to show you how to relock the bootloader for the Poco M3 smartphone. So this is the same device that I was using last week. I've not messed with it since reverting it back to stock MIUI, which is an important step if you're wanting to lock the bootloader again. And the device is still bootloader unlocked. Which you can check for in the developer options menu. And we can start this by powering down the device. And while this device is shutting down, you're also going to need to have ADB and fast boot tools installed on your PC in order to complete this guide. If you're not aware of how to install that or how to boot this phone into fast boot mode, be sure to check the video description as I'll be linking to separate tutorials that I've previously done that show you exactly how to do that. And now that we have the Poco M3 in fast boot mode, we're going to go ahead and connect it to our PC with a USB cable and open up a command prompt within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So you may be familiar with running the ADB devices command in order to check to make sure that your smartphone is detected. However, since we're currently in Fastboot mode, we're not going to get anything listed here. Instead, we need to run the command, or you don't need to run this command, but some people like to run the Fastboot space devices command while their Poco M3 is in fast boot mode to make sure that it is detected. But either way, once the phone is in fast boot mode, it's connected to the PC, we have our command prompt or terminal or PowerShell open in the same folder as our ADB and fast boot tools. And we just need to cut type out the command fast boot space OEM space lock. Once we type, out, type that out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and we're going to notice the fast boot screen on our Poco M3 is going to change. So as soon as, our, as soon as we press enter on the keyboard, the phone rebooted and as is required, the phone did a factory data reset. Once the phone has been rebooted, like once you press the enter button on the keyboard and that command has been executed, we can then unplug the USB cable because the connection is no longer needed. But after that factory reset is done, you're going to see the Poco M3 reboot again. And this time it's going to boot us back into Android. Now this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal. That's normal because we sent, we just did a factory data reset. We just lost all of our personal data that we had on the device. We lost all our accounts that were logged into it. All of that is required in order to relock the bootloader. It's just a security measure. There's no way around it. But we're simply just going to see this boot us into the MIUI activation screen.
So we're just going to skip through this real quick. So that I can show you the bootloader has been locked by checking the developer options menu like I showed you before. We do that by going in the settings, going in the about phone section, tapping the me UI version option a few times, about seven to ten times, finding that developer mode section in the additional settings area. And now we're going to see that the OEM unlocking toggle is no longer grayed out. And right now the bootloader is locked. Even though this toggle is on, this toggle is simply allowing us to unlock the bootloader again if we so choose. However, if you want, we can toggle this off and now restart the device as instructed. And we're just going to go into the developer options menu one last time. So that is how to lock the Xiaomi Poco M3 bootloader again after you have reverted, reverted back to stock firmware.